Okay, when you hear the word jam, do you think fruit spread for toast? Or do you think jam on it, jam on it, mm, choo -choo 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 jam on it? The answer to that question is greatly going to affect how much you enjoy this video. Because we are talking today about fruit spreads. <laughs> so this is a story of watching a Joshua Weissman video, having a pint of blueberries in your fridge that you know is about to go old, and realizing, hey, I can make three ingredient jam. So let's do it. I don't eat a lot of jam, it's full of sugar. If you don't believe me, look at this label or go pull out your jam out of your fridge and look at it yourself. This is just full on craziness. But a good healthy jam would be delicious. So the first step is to soak your berries, any kind of berry, in some sugar. I did a third cup of sugar for uh, 16 ounces of blueberries. I let it sit overnight, and then I just transferred it into a pot the next day and brought it to a boil. How easy is that? Now, after I got it lit, I did check in with my dog Jack to find out what he thought. And apparently jam is not Jack's jam. After getting it to a boil, you add an acid. Again, your third ingredient and could not be simpler. You can use lemon, I like lime with blueberries, so that's what I did. And then you just let it boil. This took about 15 minutes, y'all, to get to the texture and the thickness that I wanted. And then I just poured it into my funnel and into a mason jar and stuck it in the refrigerator overnight. And the next day, we had amazing three ingredient, no high fructose corn syrup, no crap, no junk, blueberry jam. Hey guys, so I know that went by really fast and when I'm trying to learn something on YouTube, I appreciate just having a minute to like circle back to the highlights. So if you got it the first time, you're good, you're done. Um, but if this is something that you're interested in trying, I really want to just go back and hit the highlights real quick because it's so easy and so delicious and really a nice way to have kind of a treat in a, in a healthy way that even someone who can't cook could do this. I am specifically looking at my friend Becca Clegg right now when I say this, who, by the way, just launched an amazing podcast. It's called, I think, The Inner alchemy podcast or I'll, I'll put a link to it but you definitely want to check her out and check that out Thanks for watching. Hit like and subscribe if you're on YouTube. Donna and I really appreciate your support as we vlog twice a week in 2021.